Hello again there, Facebook friends and Time to Grinders. It's another daily presentation with your buddy Emmett Williams here again. Yeah, I know on the, in the past I've preached a whole lot about identifying what your problems are and then trying to overcome them. But I don't think I really went into detail as to what you have to do to identify what your problems or your barriers are. Now, a long time ago when I was back in my little college days, I was uh, a security guard for the college campus. And as a security guard, you kind of walk around and kind of report when you see things of interest that you think might be a problem for the whole campus. And many of the things that we were trained to look for were things that you would normally identify when you were out on the street. If you seen somebody stealing something, or if you saw something suspicious, or if you uh, saw somebody breaking into a car, breaking a tree, starting a fight, starting an argument, things like that. We were trying to eliminate those things from happening. So the our boss at that time had us all sit down because he felt like we weren't reporting enough things. Part of our culture plays a factor into the things that we identify as being right or wrong. Uh, in my case, I figured that people arguing or fighting had a right to argue or fight. I didn't see anything wrong with that. Uh, the only time I really thought that there was an issue is if I really saw somebody physically harming or hurting something. But I was told that anybody screaming or yelling or causing a big ruckus is considered disturbing the peace which is technically against the law, or at least it's warrantable as, a, uh, as, a, as something suspicious. So I noticed that there are things in our lives that are about the same, that are actually, actually the same way. There are things that we allow to go ahead and continue on because we don't really identify them as being problems. So I'm going to talk to you about, I'm going to give you actually a couple of examples of some things that you might be overlooking that are actually problems. One of those things is uh, basically being lazy or putting things off. If you have a, a goal, if there's something that you want to do, it, whether it be cleaning your house or putting a whole new side on your house, whether it be sitting down and painting a little picture with your kids doing a little art project or repainting your car there's got to be something that you that you want to do and there's something that's blocking you from doing that or there's something that you want to put off to later putting things off to later is actually a problem believe it or not because we get so used to putting things away and putting things away for later that we end up eventually not doing them at all which is really bad. Earlier in some other presentations I suggested getting a piece of paper and writing down all the things that you want to accomplish with your life. I'm still a fond proponent of doing that because one, it's part of the process of getting something done. You're focusing your thoughts. And then number two, it's also very important to do that because you can also go to the that piece of paper that you've written on and review the things that it was that you wanted to accomplish. Using that method, I was able to accomplish roughly five or six things that I had put off for about four years. I was able to accomplish them within three months. Uh, I am not that much of a do-it-yourselfer, but with the advent of YouTube and having a steady job, I was able to acquire tools and get a lot of the stuff around my house done, get a lot of the things that were broken with my car finished. I was able to help others because I would even put that off. I, one, of the, one of my projects was to help my kids uh, fix things around their house. Uh, my son Eric and I put a TV up in his house. We're getting ready to start putting a uh, weight bench and stuff up in his house. 
all because I wrote down that, hey, I need some tools, and I got them. So, I mean, it, 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 it starts off small. Don't think that you're going to... Uh, don't think that you're going to do something big and don't think that you're going to do anything overnight. It always starts with something small. And the very, at the very, very least, like I said, write things down that you want to accomplish. From there, you can start writing steps on how you're going to accomplish the thing that you're going to, that your goal that you're, that you're, uh, you're striving toward. So uh, going back again, identifying your problem. Don't be lazy. Uh, identify the times when you're being lazy. Identify the times when you are being held back because you're waiting on a person or you're waiting to get some other resources or you're waiting because you need to do some research to get other resources. Perhaps you have an anger management problem. That can be a barrier. You know when somebody's going to trigger you. You know that uh, you can identify the person that you're going to have a problem with and you know they're going to say something to trigger you. You've got to be able to identify that. You've got to be able to say to yourself, okay, what are the things that this person is saying? Who is the person that is in my way? What skills do I think that I need to accomplish the thing that I am trying to, to get to? Is there a way that I can get the information easy, quickly? If I sit down and watch YouTube, will that be a way to help me get past my goals? So you got to sit there and you got to really identify the things that are stopping you. A lot of times I always say, hey, I don't want to pursue anything because I don't have the money for it. But then I never really sat down and wrote down how long it was going to take based on the current money that I have coming in right now. So, again, going back to writing down the things that you want. Part of writing things down means to write down your budget. What are you spending money on? What do you want to spend money on in the future? How long does it take to get to that goal based on the money that you're making now? Are there things that you can add? Are there things that you can subtract? A lot of planning and a lot of getting past your goals takes writing things down so that you can stay focused. And I'm going to talk about staying focused in another video later on. But for right now, I want everybody to do some homework. I want you to identify the things that are stopping you from doing what you say you're going to do. Sometimes it's just a matter of time. And if you have a schedule and you're getting to your goal and there's no way to decrease your time, decrease the time that it takes to get to your goal, at least make sure that you're on a steady pace to get to your goal. So that way, if an opportunity does present itself, you can, uh, what we call, speed up your timetable, which means get to your goal a little bit faster than normal. So uh, these are just a couple of things I want you guys to keep your eyes on. If you guys can think of anything else that... Uh, a person might be stopped by another barrier whether it's a person or a personal skill set or a personal preference if you can think of anything else that might stop a person from getting to their goals I invite you to add those things to the comments below you know I want this to be a community thing I want us all to work together put a hand in and help each other out I don't want everybody to think that hey this is just an Emmett and Kima thing this is an everybody thing Everybody, I, you're, uh, you're free to post a video. Uh, of course, it has to go under a little bit of review because there are some things that we want to uh, trim off a little bit. We want to make sure things stay positive. Uh, I did get a couple of video submissions and a couple of comments that I had to deny because they just didn't fit within the format of our, uh, of, of, of our community. But if you, I don't want that to dissuade you keep on coming up with things because I mean I guaranteed if we haven't said it before if you persist you're guaranteed to uh, make a breakthrough sooner or later and we will post it on our page uh, I know I'm going around rattling off this is starting to look like a 10 minute video and I know you guys got other things to do I just wanted to go ahead and put that out there please invite other people to come look at our page if you like what you see please hit a like 
please interject your comments. We really appreciate hearing from you guys. We love you. Take care, my Facebook friends. This is your buddy Emma Williams signing off once again. Hello, folks. This is your boy Kima, and it's time to grind again. And today, I'm here walking as usual with my lovely wife. <laughs> and uh, I want to take a couple of minutes today to talk about, well, let me start it off like this. We know that in our grind, and in our jobs and whatever it is we do, we have access to a lot of information. Okay, we have a lot of access to a lot of stimulation. And what we have to realize is that sometimes we have to stop getting, you know, all this information. And we have to assimilate and calculate. And, you know, we have to stop and rest. Okay. And then we have to reflect on all the stuff that's happened to us during the week so that we'll be able to learn and apply what we've learned to next week. And only then are we able to grow and we are able to excel, okay? Many people kind of forget that, you know, in our lifetime, we have a lot of stuff that gets thrown at us, okay? We got a lot of information that we have to think about. Well, when do we get time to think about it? You have to make time, okay? You have to stop, get your info together that you had in, in the last week, assimilate it into your own psyche, into your own intelligence, and then apply that knowledge to your next week's run. Okay. And like I said before, only then, oh, good morning, Linda. Uh, only then are we able to grow as people. And we work so much and we do so many things that we forget that we have to rest sometimes. We have to let our bodies pretty much recuperate and while we're recuperating we reflect and we take all that information and make ourselves better so I want to stress that to everybody in this in this short uh, video display that you know there are going to be times where you're going to get so much information that you're going to have to stop and rest you have to remember to stop and rest so, everybody get your grind on, and uh, I'll see you next time.